Russ Larson with Profitable Hobbies and today we're going to talk about a handy little air device that we call the blow-by assembly. The blow-by assembly is one of those things that people first look at or hear the word blow-by assembly and they think what in the world's a blow-by assembly? We're going to take you through a little video and show you why after people find out what it is they love to use this. So what is a blow-by assembly? Well the best way I can describe it is it's a little blower assembly that hooks right onto your filter regulator unit that allows you to keep the surface clean of your project while you're engraving or carving. So you have a handy little blower here right next to your work to spray off the surface and to keep it clean so you can see exactly what you're doing. So to install the blow-by, what we're going to do first, we're going to take a half inch drill bit. I like to use a half inch spade bit, but you could use any drill bit as long as this fitting will fit through the hole. And all I did is I lined up the drill bit even with the plug in the back of the regulator, I just kind of eyeballed it and drilled my hole. So let's take the regulator off the stand. And you have this black plug in the back. We're going to remove the black plug with an Allen wrench. And that is the hole that our blow-by assembly is going to install into. So we're going to take the blow-by fitting here, put it through, through the hole on the stand that we drilled, and then we're going to thread it into the hole on the back of the regulator. Now you'll want to make sure you have a little thread sealant left on this hole so it doesn't leak. If you don't, then te use Teflon tape on the fitting on the blow-by or, uh, or a liquid sealant. Put some type of thread sealant on these threads. So then I'm just going to take the fitting and I'm going to thread it into my regulator. I'm going to take a half inch wrench and just tighten it up. And then I'm going to just pull it through the same hole here. Put my regulator back in the stand. I have to work it a little bit to get it through there. Put it back on the stand here. And then let's show you how it works. So now we have our blow-by coming out the back of our regulator. And what we're going to do is we're going to hook up our air hose. And all we're going to do to get air out of it is just bend the tip. So that provides a nice little air sprayer to spray off the surface we're working on. What's nicer about using this versus a standard air sprayer on your compressor is this is regulated air. So the, what you have your regulator set at is what the blower will blow at. So you're not blowing at 100 or 120 PSI and blowing your work away. So you can work on really fine projects spray the air with this and it'll give you just a, the amount of air that you have your regulator set at. So that's how you install the blow-by assembly and what a blow-by assembly is.